Good afternoon, everybody. It's Marcia from Bulls and Bonus with Marcia. And I told you today that I was going to show you how to make scars be a little lighter and less showing on your skin. Like you just had surgery and you want to hide the scar a little bit. And it helps soften up the scar where the tissue is not so tight and tough. Well, we need to get some lavender which is right here and we need to get some frankincense which is right here and of course I only use Young Living Essential Oils because of the Seed to Seal promise so you need to check out the Seed to Seal website so you can look up the Seed to Seal and learn your own research on what the Seed to Seal is and, and then you know why I like Young Living so much then we need to get the, an oil to go with that. Put it in your roller. Roll it on your scars when you're done. Whatever scar it is you want to help get rid of. Um, apply topically to stretch marks or scars two times a day for a month. <clears throat> That's what it says. I suppose you might, I guess the first thing you when you get up or when you go then when you go to bed for a month uh i don't know if it needs to be more or not after that uh it'd probably take a month for one needs to be gone i'm gonna put the the oil oil in first and then we'll top it off with the say like magic because i don't want to put this in and then not have the oils that we need like the lemongrass we did yesterday so let's start 25 drops lavender. There's about 25 book drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, I think this ball is just about gone. 25. Whatever's left, I'll probably put in my Epsom salt for a fabric softener. My laundry. Either that, or I'll put it in a bottle of water and let it go into the water and put a little bit of Epsom salt in the bottom to help. Uh, keep the water from just the oil just from sitting on top of the water and then I can put that into my diffusers and let the scent go throughout the house that's how full 25 drops is now I need 25 drops of frankincense which is right here frankincense I put 25 drops of that in One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. Twenty five. The reason that dripped faster is because my bottle's fuller and there's more oil in that bottle. And that's 50 drops, and then the rest of it is going to be this oil. So, pump it in. Keep an eye on it so it don't overflow. That's good right there. Put my roller on. Put the lid on. It's on. Take it off. Make sure it's all the way on. There's no gap. It's on. The roller's ready. Mix it up. Shake it up a little bit. Now I have a chicken puck scar on one 
side of my head or the other that I had. Anyway, I have one on my shoulder. I have so many bites. Here's you know, I have a chicken pox scar on one of my shoulders. <laughs> I was going to rub some on it to start off with, which I can't find it. Anywho, we'll find the scars. And we'll, well, I have a, one on my knee. I suppose I can show you my knee. <laughs> Let me get my leg up here. It's not even Sunday, and he's out riding this Harley. If I can get my knee here. Is it this? Oh, it's the other leg. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Okay, let me see if I can show you my scar. Here's the scar on my knee. Where's that? There we go. There's my scar on my knee. So what you want to do is you take the oil and rub it on the scar just to cover it. And then rub it in. Morning or twice a day. So I say when I first get up and when I go to bed for months. And it'll help that to uh, diminish or not really disappear, but help it to soften it up. And but that scar I had since I was seven years old. I was. Swimming in the ditch or wading in the water, I don't know, and slip my leg open with a broken beer bottle that was someone threw out into the ditch. So if you have children, don't let them swim in the ditch. Might, might, ha might happen to them too. So anyway, that's all I have for you today. Uh, I don't know what tomorrow's going to be, but I will have a video tomorrow if I can try to get everything done. I just drove 400 miles today, plus 400 more, 400 plus miles today. Got a disc from our other house, uh, from my brother's in-law's house, which is like 200 miles from here. Drove over to his house, and he loaded it up with a skid loader in the back of my truck. And then I drove to my sister's house in Topeka, because yesterday she had surgery on her left wrist and uh, I'm not supposed to use it for two weeks so she has it in a sling and it's all it got a great big knot on the, on the side here I guess it, the, the muscle right here tore in the middle instead of off the bone tear it away from the bone it just tore the muscle in half I don't know how that happened but she had surgery and we'll see how long it's going to take for her to get that healed but I'm also going to get one of these for her when, when she's able to start doing her therapy. However long they go to physical therapy, she can put some of that on and rub on the scar wherever they had the surgery at. And it'll help it. Anyway, I will let you guys go for now. And Tanya, if you're watching this, I love you. And I'm going to give you a bottle of this. So that you can use it on your scar from your knee surgery and your wrist. So I guess I get get to see you later. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay cool. Ta-ta.